Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. It's for Wednesday, August the 15th, the fourth day of El. Here we go. You might see people on Erev Rosh Hashanah running around saying this phrase. It's like, like, a, like a little davening thing that they're all repeating to each other. They say, are you mochumli? Are you mochumli? And if you don't know what they're saying, it sure sounds weird. I want to explain what people are doing. Rosh Hashanah, of course, is the Day of Judgment. And um, right before the Day of Judgment, if, it, it's, it's imperative that you just take care of any wrongs that you've done with fellow humans on the planet. You're about to be judged, and there's that guy who's still holding a grudge against you. There's that guy who you still owe uh, something to. There's that guy who you embarrassed. And so what people like to do on at least, doesn't have to be on the day before Rosh Hashanah, but certainly before Rosh Hashanah, Air Rosh Hashanah is just like kind of the deadline for it, um, to say, are you mochalmi? Meaning, do you forgive me for that time that I ruined your something? Uh, do you forgive me for that time that I embarrassed you? I sure didn't mean it. And you want to have them give you forgiveness before Rosh Hashanah arrives because that's the day of judgment. And you want to have your slate cleared that uh, all the humans that you've wronged have at least cleared the slate because they've forgiven you for it. And that's why you'll see people running around a lot saying, do you forgive me for anything I may have done to you this past year? That's something very important to take care of um, right before Rosh Hashanah or don't be a procrastinator way before Rosh Hashanah, but take care of it, please. Also, you'll see people on air of Rosh Hashanah doing Hataras Nadarm. That means nullifying any promises that they've made. Now, the word promise is really actually a bad translation of the word Nadar. Uh, a Nadar sometimes happens even when you didn't use the word promise or you didn't even say anything. But if you started a very good custom... Uh, that every day after davening you put money in a charity box, let's say, and you did that three days in a row, 10 days in a row, 20 days in a row, that becomes like a nadir. Uh, it's a set pattern, and if you want to nullify it and stop doing it, it's it's like a sin if you got something going, kind of sort of halakhically promised that you were going to always do this, and then you just stopped, it's violating a nadir, which again is like a promise. So, Hataras Nadarim is your chance on Air Rosh Hashanah to get in front of a basin, three men, who uh, you state in front of them. There's a formula in the sitter that talks about what it is that I have done, and I want to nullify them so I'm not guilty of uh, messing up on patterns or promises or, you know, things that I seem to commit to, and you want to nullify them so that you're not guilty when you don't do them. It's called Hataras Nadarim. You can read up on it in any good sitter. It explains it. Next, and last topic for today, is that starting with Rosh Hashanah, right through Yom Kippur, we make special additions into our Shemona Esrei. Um, they are things like uh, Hakel HaKadosh. We switch that to HaMelech HaKadosh. Um, we say Oseh uh, HaShalom, uh, or we say... Um, Things like um, right before Melech Hazer Moshiach again, we say uh, things that talk about God being our King and inscribing us for a new good year. They're all written in your Shmona Es, right? But you must remember to say them. Uh, if you forget any of them, you're actually forgiven, and your Shmona Es doesn't have to be repeated, except for the most important one, which is the one where you switch the words Hakel Hakadosh into Hamelach HaKadosh. If you forget that, you have to repeat your Shemon Esrei because it's super important that you regard Hashem during the 10 days of awe as not just the Holy God, but the Holy King. Uh, that's the feeling that we have about God during these 10 days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. So you must remember to switch out and not say Hakel HaKadosh, but say HaMelach HaKadosh. If you forget to do it, you have to repeat the Shemon Esrei. The other one, like HaMelach HaMishpat and other things like that, you're supposed to remember them, but if you forgot, you don't have to repeat your Shemona Asri. Thanks for logging on, and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.